Hey everybody, welcome back to the 100% win Eden Streak here at Northern Gaming and the Repentance Countdown. Well, it's the final day of the countdown, because if we count down anymore, it reaches zero. Because in less than 15 hours, if you're seeing this right now, uh, Repentance will be out. So that's amazing. We have just a little bit to talk about for Repentance, and let's check out our Eden Seed for the day. Curse of Darkness Burning Basement, yikes. Uh, 4 WJENZA1 Steak Sauce. We've got three red hearts, thanks to uh, Dinner. Lemon Mishap, we got a key. Overall, decent stats, so shouldn't be too bad unless I take this pill, probably. Anyway, there was one more mini blog post where Edmund posted the uh, music track, the new Utero music track. And you know what? It was pretty good. A little haunting, a little metal. Really, uh, really can't ask for better music when you're facing down. The matriarch. We got uh, the book here, Book of Revelations. That is, that's a pretty good book. We're gonna get health every six rooms. It also makes a horseman quite likely to spawn on each tile set: the basement, the caves, the depths, etc. So we're probably gonna be getting some orbitals, maybe a walking around familiar to help we deal some damage. Let's look down here. We. The, uh, there is a locked room near the item room. It could be a shop, or it could be a library if there's a shop down here. So that's why I kind of want to explore a bit. We do have plenty of keys, I guess, to check, but you might as well just check the source. Oh my gosh, but a giant room. Considering we already found the boss room. Oh, it's a closet. You hate to see that. Well, I guess it'll just be famine, so that's not the, that's not the worst uh, boss to fight in a closet. So that's good can't see a dang thing yeah, on this floor though that's the truth all right give me a bomb hermit all right well okay so this was a shop we just had to explore all around to make sure of that and nothing in there we quite want to buy so we're just gonna go we don't have to go back and get our pill nobody likes pills let's just go on to famine and see what's up We've got some explosive barrels that could help us somewhere down the line. Alright, we got hit by the fly. That's my fault. There's a barrel. Famine's about to lose his mind. Or his horse. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Ed did the blog post with the utero music. Pretty nice. And uh, there was one gif on Twitter from Tyrone highlighting the co-op. Um, it was two players playing together. I think it was a Judas and an Eden due to their uh, fez and hairstyle, I could tell. So that was cool. And the one cool synergy I noticed, one of the players had a tech zero, you know, where uh, electricity chains between your shots. But sometimes, not every shot, but some of the other player's shots would also chain electricity with the first player's shots. So that's a cool synergy that pretty much exists on uh, co-op only, if you think about it. Because otherwise you don't have two players firing. But I guess if you have a familiar Tech Zero works with their shots most of the time. Okay, well either way it works for co-op too. So that's nice. Alright, we got a penny here. Another soul heart. We're going to have plenty of health this run. Or at least if we don't make enough mistakes we should have plenty of health. Boss trap room here. We're not going to be able to go in it because we have more than one red heart. I believe that's changing in repentance to if you have more than one of any heart combined like a red and a blue, then boom, you can't go in that room. I'm pretty sure. So that'll be uh, less common for people to go into for sure. Um, but maybe more commonly near the secret room, people will bomb their way in to try to look at the gray chest to fight two or three bosses. You know, who knows? Alright, we're looking for... Our damage is pretty nice. We're looking for a tears up from this boss and or the devil deal. We're Guaranteed a devil deal. And we got plenty of health to trade away. These worms shouldn't cause too much of a ruckus. There we go. Shop key, you know why not? It gives us free entry to the shop. And uh, nothing wrong with that. Save us a key per floor if we keep it. Maybe we won't. Maybe we will. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. 
Thank gosh, she walked into the fire. Alright, steam sale for 7 cents on basement 2. You probably really have to do that every time. But maybe we can... We only got one bomb. Maybe we can find one more penny somewhere else. Perfect. And that one for good luck. Alright, so steam sale. It's real nice. Hopefully we get something to generate money to go along with it. So right now we have uh, no money. One money. One money we have. Alright, boss should be pretty close by. I feel like we've cleared a lot of rooms here in the burning basement. There he is. Or she. We don't know what boss it is. Perfect. Another bomb. Another the haunt. Alright, it's Champion Black Haunt, so that'll be a spider spitting spooky ghost. Not too bad as far as haunts go. Okay, also spits regular shots, as you may have been able to tell. And there we go, Ball of Bandages does all the work. A red HP up, which we absolutely don't need. And Sack Dagger, which we'll take for sure. Alright, no matter... perfect. No matter what side of us the enemy's on, we got an orbital now to smack him in the face with. So that'll be nice. We don't have a map, so we, I'm pretty sure we got everything on that floor we needed to. And we'll head out, out of here. Mm, did we hit the item room? I don't even know, actually. I don't see a new item in our list. Maybe it was a, a bad one. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I have short-term memory loss, but that's okay. Because guess what? Repentance is, repentance is tomorrow. Just kidding. I mean, it is, but that was, a, that was a memory joke. Pretty funny, if you ask me. Actually, not really. Anyway, this guy's going to explode, so we don't want to get too close with our dagger. Yeah, but... Okay, we got a nice gold poop there. Got some cash. Golden heart, another soul heart. You know, I think it's entirely possible we miss an item room when you're talking and you're, uh, you know, trying to be entertaining a little bit or informative. It sometimes stuff just slips right by you. It's kind of funny. All right, we got the shop. Free entry into the shop. Steam sale restock. I don't know. You probably got to get that. Another key, another. Curse of the Tower. It's perfect. Half price humbling bundle. You probably also have to get that almost every time. Let's see if we can wrangle up two more cents. There's one. Perfect. Now all we need is another steam sale from a greed fight in a secret room or a later shop, but hopefully not the last one. And we'd have double steam sale restock, aka a free game breaking experience. All right. Well, oh, there's that money we needed. All all according to plan. And there's that other money. All right, let's go get Humbling Bundle. All the money from now on will be at least two pennies, unless it's a single luck penny. This is a rough shop, so we're just going to... Okay, just buy hearts here. But our book has hearts, so... Probably not the best use for our money. To take one though, just in case. You never know. Alright, this will be a big room for our dagger and other orbital. Also known as the ball of bandages. Okay. Perfect. Alright, we're getting a little abused tonight, but that's okay, because we got single steam sale restock, and really, what's better than that? Double steam sale restock, that's what. Alright. This guy's gonna explode soon. Perfect. Don't have Holy Mantle today, so we're not gonna try out the curse room just yet. Maybe if we get an amazing devil deal with some health in it, we could uh, entertain that thought. Or if we get PJs or something. Okay, perfect.
perfect. Got the whole floor clear going on. There's that item room everybody's been asking about. Sack Dagger really bringing home the bacon. Are worms made out of bacon? I don't think so. Booker Tears, though. Incredible. Lovely item. Sticks on an enemy or boss and deals damage over time. Very amazing tier effect. There you go. They both got boogers on them, so we can just walk around doing nothing. It's great for bosses unless they shed them, a la Dark One or Pin or something weird. But Pestilence does not shed any boogers. So every one we add to them will just be an easier, quicker kill to get a level 2 uh, Bandage Girl. There you go, they killed him. We did get a deal. Luckily, maybe it's a great one. Ooh. Well, that's a tough decision. If we did that right now, we'd lose, I believe, both levels of uh, Bandage Girl. But not Sack Dagger, because it's not alive. Right? I don't know, let's see. Okay, just for Demon Baby. You know, pretty good pickup. Somebody's... Somebody's favorite familiar, I don't know why. But now we're a little low on health. Let's check out this last room and then we might revisit the shop just to replenish our healthy health bar. Double keys there is pretty nice. Shop is a little bit of a walk, but we're in a dangerous position. Because I was hoping for something excellent from uh, Sacrificial Dagger. And it was only... Great? Is he... Is is Demon Baby listening? I'll just say great. If he's not listening, there's uh, there's more to be desired. But you know what? we got plenty of health now. we got Demon Baby. You really can't ask for more than that. Right, Demon Baby? Alright. Double Red Hearts. Perfect. Alright, Booger Tears is actually really great, though. So, we're not looking too shabby right now, but we will need some more help in future, aka as soon as we go down this hole. Curse the Lost again. Pretty sad about that, but that's okay. Demon Baby doing all the work over there. Let's get our dagger. Thank you. Gosh. Okay. Booger does that one. Alright, that was a rough setup. But all we need to do is get a booger on one of these guys and let him fly. Literally. So that's okay. Regular damaging tiers also good for landing on them, since no boogers are apparently ever appearing. But that's okay. Right, Demon Baby, you're doing some work. There we go. He's boogered. This guy's. He's over with, you know? be cool if Demon Baby shot poops all on his own. Gold chest. Might not be worth it. Might be worth it. Might not be worth it, too. Oh my gosh. Alright, double keys. No tinted rock in there. Just trying to get the dagger off in time. I think uh, it didn't work due to the fact that we took damage. Lucky Rock is real nice for money. If we can get a Golden Bomb anywhere, we can really make a lot of money somewhere. What the hell is going on with this room? Stop at the Fat Bats. My god. And this one's exploding. Jeez. Alright. Two cents. And that's two cents out of every uh, blowing up thing due to Humbling Bundle. We'll be rolling in money. Not out of poop, unfortunately, but that's okay. Where are we? Where are we going? I don't know. Alright, double bombs is good for damaging and or blowing up for more coins. Good thing we bought those soul hearts.
Alright, we got him, we got another heart. We're working our way to the shop. And, um, I believe the item room. These Curse of the Lost are really screwing with my brain, you know? But I, hey, that's what they're supposed to do. Wear the player down mentally, physically, emotionally. That's what everybody's hoping for. Alright, big ol' spider room. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. The boss is right here, which is great news. Now that you mention it. Okay, and one more spider to go. Perfect. Can't get quite over there without a bomb. Could access the pennies, but maybe they're not 100% necessary. We gotta go back and find uh, some special rooms, still, before we go to the boss. That's my opinion, anyway. Were we down here? No. Okay. Stand up. Thank you. Stand up. Thank you. Alright, we could do that. Maybe we will. Okay, another dead end. We didn't find the rooms already, did we? Am I going crazy? I don't know. Now this is a nice uh, area to get 12 cents in, so why not, right? And one of these to get a chest and some pennies. Sure. Hey, we got the bombs back. Pretty nice. Alright, demon baby, where are we going? Alright, we're going this way. Sure are a lot of these crazy spitting worms. But you know what? That's okay. That's why everybody loves the flooded caves. Alright, let's try to get a booger on these guys so they stop spreading terror and chaos throughout the land. Not really working out right now. But that's okay. Alright, thanks for walking right into me. It's very unusual. Alright, we got a booger on this one. His days are literally numbered. And the boogers, if possible, do fall to a nearby enemy. So the fact that he broke into a worm just means that worm started with a booger. And that's great. That was very sad. Okay, we're just going to move in with our knife and break these guys ASAP. Because we're not having another one of those booger waiting situations. That just got resolved. Alright, we got one more guy down here. And this fly mulligan. You son of a biscuit. Oh my god. Do any rooms exist that might help us? The item room? Etc. I don't know how we didn't take damage. Perfect. That made up for it. Honestly, it did. Come on, demon baby. Alright, there's the rooms. Wow, they really stuffed them in back. And, uh, hey, not too bad, actually. Contagion will be helpful. And the shop has greed in it, as expected. We have an incredibly overpowered run in the shop due to several of the items we possess. So here's greed in the shop. Thanks for that. Alright, let's look for uh, something through here. I don't know. Cricket's head. Perfect. Well, at least we got the keys and stuff. And uh, we can get a bomb from over there. Two bombs, in fact. But at the cost of one, it kind of, it's kind of a lot like one bomb. Alright, we're not going in there. We don't know where the secret room is for sure. I guess it could be here, though. It's not. But it could have been. We're just walking back towards the boss, who I believe was right and down. I think there's even more rooms uncleared, but we don't have the mental capacity to do that right now. Oh, perfect. Alright, the stain. Everybody's favorite boss. He will lose the boogers when he goes underground, so that's sad. But if he does the shots, he'll be staying up a long time. That was my fault. We 
could go in to try to dagger him, but the fact that he's doing the, uh, the left and right blood smear is, uh, is pretty rough. Alright, let's get some booger damage in while we still can. There we go, he's dead. Alright, tears and shot speed. Never a bad thing. Alright, let's keep going. Maybe we actually get a regular floor? No, it's Necropolis 1. Probably not worth it. Alright, pretty easy room for us. This guy's got a booger right on his nose. Nobody tell him. Alright. We pretty much just secured War to be the uh, boss of this floor with our use of uh, Book of Revelations. But that's okay. Tinted? No, but you know what? This skull could be a black heart. It's not, but hopefully we don't get more greeds. Because, you know, uh, we got to get something from the shop. And validation is what I'm looking for. There, we got boogers on the hearts. So, it's amazing. Right, two keys, very helpful. A couple of flies here. And even more behind them. Thank you, Demon Baby. Thank you. Hanged Man card could help a lot. That guy jumped right into me. Very sad. I know that's their job, but it still makes me sad. Okay, we're pretty much just circling the room, protecting ourselves with uh, Sack Dagger from the uh, Witch Call guy. And it was working out really well. Boop. Come here. Alright, we got another heart. We haven't found special rooms yet, though, so I know it's just war. But hey, he could be champion war with all the bombs. So we got to see if we got host hat in the item room. Or something cool like that. Also, we got 70 cents, so you know we're checking out the shop. If it exists. Which, right now, I'm starting to doubt. Alright, that was a good uh, Contagion. Pretty much saved the day. We could get those extra keys. We don't really need them, though. We've got a booger over there, so he's going to do all the work by exploding. Nope, just kidding. I thought it would poison the flies that come out. It didn't. That's okay. Alright, quick and easy room. This has got to be nowhere, actually. So, oh my god, I hate these guys. Okay. Great room. Really cool. Pointless. Dead end, actually. Should've used Hangman, now that I think about it. But, oh well. Okay, Fate's Reward. Why not? We don't have great shots, but an additional one here or there is actually... Sounds pretty nice. Alright, if this giant guy hits us, we're just dead. And at this point, I welcome it. Okay. can't really try to get... You son of a bitch. Alright, why not? Uh, freaking amazing. Where's Dark Bum when you need him? Alright, is there a... I don't think this can be a door, but might as well try. Oh, there's a... A tinted rock in there. Who knew? My god, two hearts. Thank you for saving the run. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, money. Where's that shop? Oh my god. It's nowhere. Still. Alright, another charge. And we're finally secure in our own ability to not die. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. Well. You tell me. I don't know what's going on. There we go. We're just waiting for that battery. We're waiting for greed. Uh, okay, no, uh... No reroll, but that's okay. We got restock. Don't really need the battery or the pill, probably. Keys also negligible at this point. So we're going to health up, and we can buy uh, some items. Next floor shop isn't guaranteed. All the curses are gone. Hive mind is really great. Sharp plug, not my kind of thing. Buddy in a box is real nice. Sack of sacks, always love to see it. Broken modem, my god. 
do you think I am, an animal? Alright, let's get out of here. There it is, the one item room to rule them all. I swear to god, it better be Bob's brain or I'm alt f 4 Bob's brain can save this run. Alright, let's see what this pill is. One makes you small, that's great. Oh, mom's pad, that's not very helpful. But that's okay. Got it out of the item pool now, and we're gonna go on to face war. We got plenty of health for once in our lives. And that's about it. We got our tower card over there in case we need it, but I have a feeling we won't need it. Isn't that right, War? Oh my gosh, it is champion War. He's also got the fires. He's got a very good chance. Well, not anymore. But he sometimes has a chance to walk into a corner fire and get caught behind the rocks. And then just stay there and die. So that's always funny. But he didn't do it this time. Because he blew him up. That's okay. Hey! Got our second orbital back. And, uh... A little bit of damage? Okay, we could trade Book of Revelations for Satanic Bible. But, um... We're okay where we're at with just blue hearts. Satanic... Bible, of course, gives black hearts on the same six-room charge, so uh, probably not worth the three hearts right now, considering we're playing like garbage. What's this one? There's two of them. It's got to be good. Son of a bitch. Alright. Oh my gosh. What's our damage with Horror Babylon? 6.45. Not too bad. I've had worse. Still looking for maybe one more uh, damage up, in fact. But you know what? It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, do one of these. Check out these sacks over here. Buddy in a box is throwing some weird toxic shots. Sure. Replenish some hearts. Check these out for a black heart. What do you think? Unlikely. Unlikely. Well, we got 28 keys actually, so why not do that? Okay, check for soul hearts. Perfect payout, I guess. Or negative luck. I guess it's not to be unexpected. Alright, we got some giant booger shots coming out now, which is really nice. And uh, Fate's Reward also helping out in that department. Beautiful. Contagion not doing a lot in this room, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, the guy's invisible. Let's jump to red chest. Could be great, could be nothing. Who's alive? Oh, there was a nub behind the chest. Guppy's paw. Hey, that's two-thirds Guppy. Guppy, the one thing that could save my uh, terrible play today. Potentially. Guppy's head and Guppy's paw both spacebar items, but as long as we pick them up, they do count towards the transformation. So that's great to see. Uh, the virus, not not quite what we're looking for. Tears up, yeah, why not? Just a one tears up, but hey, it's better than nothing, and it gives us diagonal directional tears if we so choose. So that's helpful too. Sometimes, you know, what if we fight the bloat? It's going to be really helpful. Uh, I think we passed the floor he shows up on, but that's okay. Hey, two of clubs. Now we got four bombs. Pretty nice. Here's the final shot. We got another butt ton of money, so it'd be great if it wasn't greed, but probably is. Never mind. Alright. Sackhead. Red candle. Champion's Belt. Pretty good. Damage up. The Ladder. I always love the Ladder. Blank card. Hangman. Let's look for a fun card. Hermit. High Priestess. Just just use it. Strength. You killed him. Oh my god. Wait, where's I going? Lovers. Ace of Diamonds. What? Justice. That could be fun. Yes. Here we go, there's suddenly a lot more uh, bombs and keys and money. Exactly what you need to run. Death. Judgment. 
starting to get lost in the keys. I mean, in the cards now. Two of hearts. Worthless. Let's just take the strength card and try to steal some devil deals. Strength card, please. Just the thank you. Okay. All right. Well, these guys are standing still. And we got the ladder, so we have all the uh, all the advantages. Okay, we're going to be looking up, perhaps, for a boss fight. Not just yet, but maybe. Alright, we got a lot of random shots flying, that's pretty good. I've been told, as long as you're shooting something, uh, everything dies. Alright, we got another blank card charge. Um, why did I take blank card? Because we were looking through all the cards. Strength card. Honestly, the book's probably better. We can take one strength card to steal one devil deal. It's not like we're going to get be getting a bunch more deals. We just need to steal one guppy item, and then we'll be right as rain. Preferably guppy's tail. I mean, we have 72 damn keys at this point. 76. Red mom's great. We're going to really get some uh, orbital action in on her shins. Oops. Okay, thanks for that. Get out of here, Mom's Eye. Good jerk. And hey, there's a Devil Deal. Let's see if we get Guppy now or later. Maybe never. Alright, we were hoping that didn't hit us, and somehow we were lucky enough to get out unscathed. Alright. Cramp is his head, everybody's favorite head base spacebar item. We're gonna skip it. Utero 1. Mom's wig check. Okay, two of these. This was a good one, right? Sure. Great. Great pill, Ed. Thanks. Alright. Oh my gosh. Quite the explosive ending to that room there. Hey, every secret room on this uh, floor, aka both secret rooms, will open all on its own now. That's pretty nice. This is a dead end. That's not pretty nice. But hey, our buddy in a box seems to be a ghost miner helmet guy. So that's pretty cool. Alright, we're going to need all this money for when we pick up money equals power. little room here, but you know what? Those are the best rooms. And it was more goddamn keys. That's fine. Oh my gosh, get me out of here. Maybe missed a Tinnerock in there? I don't know. Probably not worth it at this point, if I'm being 100% honest. Alright, we will spend one of our 80 keys to go pick up two bombs, because we do need uh, more bombs than keys at this point. We have nine bombs. What the heck? Oh, we could have used the ladder to get it for free. Either way, we only had 80 keys. I'm sure we're not going to use that much. Secret room here, thanks to the I Can See Forever pill. Great buttons incoming. Well, at least we got more firepower than last time we got this terrible room. Then we got the dagger. Alright. Only took one hit in exchange for a couple bombs. I'm sure that's well worth it. Gotta find that guppy item. So we're blowing that guy up. Oh my gosh. The left hand? What about our money from rocks? It's so important. For when we get money equals power later in the run. You know what? We'll take it. That gives us a very good chance of getting Guppy. A little late for it, but there still could be uh, that chance. Stars card. Okay. Not very important to go over there, so we'll just walk this way. That was a good Contagion explosion. Oh my gosh. Alright, we got the boogers placed in the right spots. Looking for those red chests, but you know what? Sometimes you don't get them. That's okay. Get these brains out of here. Oh my gosh, look at all the champions. All thanks to our prolific champion's belt. 
Here we go. I think we missed every shot on that guy. How about that? Ladder over and just say hello. Was that two charge keys? Because I saw we got the charge and then I saw the other charge key, so... Oops, but that's okay. Three black hearts, the best super secret room you can get. Potentially nerfed uh, exploration percentage of finding it in the expansion, but that's okay. Because they're taking out the black poop room, or they're lowering it, or something. Anything negative for that room is a positive for me. Alright, we got death again, because we have uh, Book Revelations. Uh, on this floor, Book of Revelations can summon death or conquest. Conquest can drop the white pony and foil someone's attempt to get a level 4 cube of meat or a bandage girl, but sorry about that. That's all I can say. Cube of meat's easy to get nowadays. All you need is potato peeler and a bunch of red health you don't want. And I think you can use Lilith's, excuse me, uh, box of friends to make a uh, a level 4 bandage girl for a room and it counts for the achievement if people are still going for that. Just a little just a little tip for you. Alright, we got uh, plenty of health for once in the damn game. So we're gonna stand right next to this guy and probably lose it. There we go. But we don't have to use our spacebar item is what I was trying to say. So that's nice. And we even got a battery on the ground in a different room. So we're going to be one of the healthiest uh, people we can be this whole run. Alright, let's get Guppy in this room. Oh my god, we did. Well, there you go. Unexpected, but very welcomed. Goodbye, Loki. Goodbye... I always forget your name. Fistula. Whatever your name is. Alright, goodbye. Alright, and we're flying. That's another great perk of Guppy. Besides the flies, the flying really saves you on time. And it lets you hold disdain for the ladder, which I don't appreciate. People hate the ladder, say it's worthless. Well, guess what? Not always. Alright, we don't need those bombs. All we need is... Jesus, get me out of this room. Holy moly. Alright, we do have a free uh, entrance here to the secret room. The bomb did it himself, actually, so that's great. Thanks for the... Yep. Resistance rune. You know what? We're going to drop uh, left hand. We're going to take the rune for a tough fight. Not that there's any of those left, because we got Guppy. And we're going to see what's going on over here. Alright, not too much. Cool. Great. Alright, sad Larry's here. And not any longer. I hope he, that means he's no longer sad as well. Alright, double red hearts. My favorite drop of the whole run. We never had to pick up any, so that's pretty nice. Alright, check this out. Nothing, really, but here's the boss. And just stand on the... okay. It lives. Not for too long with our... what the hell are you doing? Spawning... What are you doing? It lives, man? Are you serious? Alright, and there we go. Alright, give me one second. Alright, sorry about that. Had a quick phone call. Let's see. Uh, we got some stuff in the devil room. Not a huge fan of either at our current point in time. So we're just going to hop into the cathedral. Alright. About 8 damage on the cathedral is pretty nice. We got Guppy, so we could have 1 damage and we'd actually be probably fine. Um, one cathedral enemy that was in anti birth, I hope, makes a return, which means it probably does, to uh, repentance is the like priest that would shield. Oh my god. That would shield other enemies. So you had to kill the priest first and then, the, and then you could hit the other enemies. Or if they wandered far away enough, you could just kill the enemies. But it, it puts some more thought into the wow, puts some more thought into the uh, the game for sure to buy a little bit. So you know that's never a bad thing. But yeah, less than a whole day away after this video is gone live. So very excited to try everything new and old.
in repentance. And I'd like to get my hands into a planetarium ASAP. I wonder if it'll have the same unlock condition. I believe you had to take up three uh, star signs in the same run. So pretty rare if the run's not like a huge broken run. Or you could get it pretty randomly, I guess. I don't know, you know. But then uh, planetariums would spawn on later... F or no. There'd be a pretty rare spawn. Like, it's not even like one per floor, obviously. Um, it's probably about as common as dice rooms show up. So, pretty rare. But when one shows up, uh, you get to choose between two star sign items. There were the old uh, astrological sign items, but then there were also like eight or nine new items for like each of the planets, I think, and the moon and the sun or something. I, I forget. But those are cool. I like I like the design of most of the new, the anti-birth ones anyway. So I'll assume they'll be similar or the same. So that'll be fun to get into again. What if they do like a, a planetarium only challenge? That'd be uh, be interesting. Every room would have one planetarium. Where's the ghost? Oh my gosh. But that'd be pretty cool. I don't know, just thinking random things. Alright, we got Isaac down pretty quick. And we're going up to the chest. Alright, let's see what we got here. Wow, some great familiars. Three amazing familiars that everybody should love at all times. Sadly, there was no other item in the fourth chest, but that's okay, because we got Guppy, we got Booger Tears, so why would we take fourth invisible item? Alright, the run did forget to give us money equals power, however. So that's a little unfortunate. We were saving up money just for it. Alright, thanks for the troll bomb though. Really appreciate it. Alright, Lust is taken out pretty quickly along with all of her cohorts. And there we go. We've got a long room here full of nobody now that you mention it. So, uh, let's take some revenge on these poops. There you go. And that's not usually what I say when I wake up in the morning. But hey. Alright, and there's explosion immunity. Which is something I usually say when I wake up in the morning. So how about that? Alright, Cyclops don't stand a long chance for long. These four guys are deader than anybody deserves to be. And there you go. Drop the heart in case we need it. I have a feeling we won't be uh, touched ever again in this run. Where is Blue Baby? Gosh darn it. Just kidding. We're having a fine run. This is just, just a long uh, set of rooms. Didn't expect, uh, didn't expect it. That's okay. Here he is. Oh gosh, I was right. Alright, double sloth, I think. And we're going to use this just for fun and just stand here with a knife. Alright, bye Blue Baby. Thanks for the fun run. And there you go. That is the Repentance Countdown in a nutshell. Zero days until Repentance. Could be tomorrow's video, but who knows. Uh, today's just one day until Repentance. And you probably already knew that. But our Eden streak is going well. And we're going to continue it into the Repentance. So please keep watching. Please stick around. And you know what? Hey, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for being here. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to be putting out some new stuff for all the challenges and everything. So stick around, please. Uh, and thanks for everybody that's been liking, commenting, and everything on all the Isaac videos. It's been really great. Alright. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, and take care of yourselves.